Well, hello, God bless you, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. And I'm telling you, I'm hoping, I, I hope that you're having a wonderful day because I am. God is so good. God is so wonderful. The Lord is great and greatly to be praised. Now, let me tell you one of the things that I'm so excited about. I've been going here and there and, and uh, just uh, traveling uh, across this country, gallivanting, going here and there, preaching the gospel, speaking to this group and speaking to that group. And uh, last week, as you know, I was not able to be here. Thank you, Elder Carl Reeves, for delivering the word of God. But my friends, I'm excited because I'm in town. And I will be here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ tonight for Bible study. That's right, Bible study. We're going to study the Word of the Lord together. And listen, I want you to bring your Bible because the presentation that God has given me tonight kind of takes um, <clears throat> our study of the Word uh, many times our presentation of the word, even our point of view, and turns it on its head. I have a question that the Lord has given me uh, to uh, uh, propose. Uh, perhaps you've thought of it. Perhaps you haven't. I would venture to say that based on uh, the what, what we hear preaching today and what we see taught, that many have not thought of this, but it's something that the Lord showed me that I can hardly wait to present to you tonight. Now, Brother Gary, I really want to mention it now, but I can't give it away. I want you to come tonight and bring your Bibles and come ready and excited about studying the word of the Lord, because I am here to tell you that there is nothing, there is nothing like the word of God. And uh, uh, I put nothing ahead of the word of God. And the Bible says concerning the word of God in Psalms 33 and verse 4, it says that for the word of the Lord is right and all his works are done in truth. Thank God that his words are right and that God is faithful to his works and to his word. And I want to encourage you as never before to stay in the word of God. Now, listen, uh, some of your preachers, you're drifting too far from the Bible. Don't get bored with scripture. You know, don't don't think that your story is more interesting than God's story. People need to hear the Lord's story because his story is the only story that is settled. The Bible says uh, in Psalms 119 and verse 89, forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. God's word is stationed. God's word is ever ready. God's word will never change. And if there is anything that we know today that we need today to get us through even this political season, even in this season of unrest, and hey, I know you're praying about Jerusalem, you're praying about Israel, you, you, we see what happened with uh, Hezbollah to the north, and you got Hamas to the south, you got Iran uh, sending money to their proxies, they're coming against Israel, and many times now, our politicians, when they speak to the situation, they keep saying what Israel needs to do. Israel needs to stop. Israel needs to leave uh, 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 Gaza. Israel needs to stop pounding uh, Hamas. Israel, Israel, Israel. Well, what about what Hamas does? Have, I, I said this the other day, and I want to say this to you. None of us believe that any lives are useless. Well, some believe that lives are useless. You know, the pro-abortion crowd, they put no value on an unborn baby at all. And these are some of the same ones who are, who are crying over the loss of Palestinian lives and the loss of Ga Gazan 
lives in Gaza. And I too, my heart breaks when I hear of civilians being killed in war. It's a horrible thing. But I'm amazed that the, the media and many simply fail to mention that uh, 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 Hamas, not Israel, not the <clears throat> Israeli Defense Forces, the ADF, the ADF wear uniforms. The ADF, you can tell that these are Israeli soldiers coming in to do battle. It's, it's God, it, it is Hamas who dress like civilians, who hide behind civilians, who set up their operations in hospitals and in areas where civilians gather, in houses of worship, and uh, where civilians are. They're the ones who hide uh, uh, amongst, uh, in the midst, amidst civilians. And many times, Israel, uh, more often than not, if not every time, sends warnings two and three days ahead of time. Get out. Get out. We're coming in. Now, who else does that? Trying to minimize the loss of civilian lives. Hamas, on the other hand, is glad when civilians get killed because they know that they can count on, oh my, this liberal leftist media who will stress all day long the number of civilian casualties without mentioning that Hamas hides amongst civilians. They wear no uniforms. I think that that's worth mentioning. So I wanted to bring that up as you pray for uh, the battle that, that Israel is in, the conflict, that, that you, we pray that hostages are released and that uh, that this war ends. But don't let the, the devil turn your heart and your mind against Israel. We've seen on college campuses where those, where the, where the, where, where the people who are supposed to be the brightest and the most intelligent amongst us are gathered. They are out marching and uh, protesting Israel, and they have nothing to say about Hamas, who started this in the first place. So I thought I would bring that up. This is one of the reasons why you need to know for yourself what the Bible says. You need to know the scriptures. You need to be in a church where the preacher is preaching the word of God, is teaching the word of God, line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little and there a little, teaching the word so that you will know what the Bible says. Teach it, hoop it, holler it, scream it, but just make sure it's the word of God. So I'm excited. I'm excited. Listen, I want to send a big thank you. I received this medallion in the mail uh, the other day. It was sent to me. And with this wonderful letter, I won't read it all, but it says International Youth Department, Church of God in Christ, Bishop J. Drew Shedd, presiding bishop, Superintendent Nathaniel Green, President, Evangelist Vandalin Kennedy, Chair Lady. Uh, dear Bishop Wood, and greetings in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. On behalf of the International Youth Department, President Nathaniel Green, Senior Chair Lady Vandalin Kennedy, and the male commission of our great department, we extend our deepest gratitude uh, to you for your uh, invaluable participation in the actual man class event during the International AIM Convention. Your presence and contributions have profoundly impacted the lives of many, uh, exemplifying true manhood and godly leadership within the Church of God in Christ. And he goes on, he quotes the Apostle Paul from uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 16, Verse 13, be watchful, stand firm in the faith, act like men, be strong. Yourself, steadfast, committed to these principles, not only inspires the younger generation, but also fortifies our collective mission to raise up men of valor rooted in faith and in integrity. I am touched uh, and I am thankful for this uh, medallion this medal of appreciation, and uh, it means so much to me. Uh, Superintendent Green, thank you. Uh, Evangelist, Evan, uh, uh, Evangelist Kennedy, 
thank you so much. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of the prestigious panel. I was up there with some mighty men of God, and uh, we had a marvelous time. Well, I thank you uh, for this, and I, I'm excited about tonight. So when you get this, set your heart, set your mind, get ready to come to Bible study because the Lord is going to bless us real good. So I'll be here and uh, I'm excited. I keep saying I'm excited. Gary, I keep saying I'm excited. I keep repeating excited. I'm hoping that you're excited because you have reasons to be. But tonight we're taking the word of the Lord. We're taking some things and turning it on its head. Because there's something that you need to consider. There's something that God wants you to think about. And I am going to speak to you on this issue tonight. Right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ during our Bible study. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Tonight. We're going to study the word of the Lord together. God bless you. Make it a wonderful day.